Hey, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John City 4 and today, people, I'd like to keep on talking about the controversies behind Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019 because lately there has been some other news coming up about this game only having five maps available for 6v6. Five maps on a 6v6, really. And those matches go quick, man. They go like less than freaking six minutes or even seven. You know, depends how fast the game goes and flows. At least if there's no campers or not. I mean, the game flows fast. So you're going to be constantly rotating on the maps and only having five? Really? Man, it's like how people said. Call of Duty does have a good jam on their hands. It's just that they find a way to fuck it up. And this is one way to do it. Do you want player base to even keep on playing on your game or not? I think that all they care about is about initial sales compared to the game lifespan at this point. Just to impress the stockholders. Like, hey, you know, we sold a lot of freaking games on day one. Give us money when we sell our stocks or some shit. I don't know. I don't know how stocks work. But, like, um, you know, you get my point. The developers really don't care at this point. They just want to make the money and then cash out. And then save the rest for later. Because I believe the next DLC map pack that's going to come out. I think those are going to be the maps that are supposed to be released on initial release. At least give us 8 or 10. Because Call of Duty Black Ops 4, all freaking maps were playable. Literally the whole game is the 6v6 mode. Or 5v5 or whatever. So, um, what went wrong here? They probably thought we had too many modes. Let's just tone it down a little bit or something. I don't know. Because there's ground war, there's 10 versus 10, there's uh, you know 6 versus 6, 2 versus 2, a lot of maps to rotate. So in total, I mean, right now at the moment that I saw, I mean, there should be like around 6 maps for 2v2 and then 5 maps, maybe around 3 for ground war and 3 for 10 versus 10. So like they already have like a total of 16 maps or something set up to go. But like, uh, I mean, come on, give it all out, man. The, the series... It's just coming back from a freaking slump. From Call of Duty Black Ops 4 with its battle pass. And, you know, supply jobs being locked. Which is still going to be locked in the next game. But, like, you know, so they have guns locked behind the supply jobs and all that. And, uh, you know, just this. Having only five maps. I mean, I literally wanted to keep on playing 6 versus 6. But if there's only five maps, I mean, it's going to get boring real quick. I'm glad there's more modes. So I can at least keep it going. But only five maps, really? <laughs> Oh, man. Well, I'm pretty sure you guys are thinking the same. These COD developers are just being greedy as hell. Or they're just being lazy. After they found out that supply jobs are easier. It's an easier way to make money. And they, they just got lazy after that. I mean, they, they copied and pasted several of their freaking maps. You guys have never noticed. Back in Black Ops 2, most of the maps were three lanes. Especially the DLC maps. They were all the same thing. Except that some of them were bigger and some of them were smaller. But they were all three lanes. So this is what another thing that worries me the most also about DLC maps. They might be new maps, but just take a look at them. Take a hard look at them. Because they could be a copycat from an older map or from a map that you currently already have. And you're going to be like, isn't this map so similar to this other one, but it's just smaller or bigger or only has this one building in the middle? Like, I'm just worried about that right now. Like, what if they actually do screw up also on the DLC maps? Because, god damn it, man. I know Black Ops is worse on DLC maps compared to Infinity War, but, you know, we'll, we'll see. Because there's a lot of staff changes. They fire Michael Condry, they fire Von der Haar. So expect a lot of changes like this to happen in the future. A lot of new decisions. And this one decision is really questioning the future of the game. At this point, just make it freaking free to play or something. <laughs> I mean, we already have, like, the mobile version of Call of Duty. Might as well, might as well make it like that. If they want to screw up the franchise that bad, might as well just turn it into a freaking mobile game. It's already partly a mobile game, so just mix all the colleges together and you got yourself a freaking franchise there. So, um, it's just sarcasm, by the way. That was just sarcasm. I don't yeah. wish for any of that. So, uh, because I know people are going to be so nitpicky about that. But, like, uh, but like, like, yeah, you know, that's all my thoughts about this whole situation. I think it's stupid. I think they should really add more and stop being lazy. And I know they're going to bring in some old nostalgic maps, but oh well. It's going to be part of it, and at least we have more maps along the way for that so that is it guys i want to talk about today if you guys got any questions any moans groans or complaints leave it in the comment section i'll answer them later so i'll see you guys later subscribe for more call of duty content
you right. Enemy deleted. 